You are welcome. Once again, my name is Odette, your facilitator. Now that you wrote those letters, you are getting now used. And each day you continue writing Braille, you'll find it enjoyable. And today, we are going to learn two new I one, we are going to write words coming from the first 10 letters of the alphabet A to J. And we are also going to write simple sentences. Words make sentences. So that is one thing we are going to learn. Another item we are going to introduce today is a full stop. So let me first introduce a full stop to you because since you know that sentences are made of words, therefore it is the full stop in Braille which is new to you. How do we write a full stop in Braille? A full stop is made of dots two, five, and six. Dots two, five, and six. And when you want to write a full stop, as usual, we insert our paper by first examining whether we are holding the slate in the right position whereby the depression is on the lower slate. We insert our paper, our braille paper, and we cross. So we practice together our writing a full stop. Like I said, full, if, um, whatever you write with the slate, it has to be written the mirror way. So if a full stop is dots 2, 5, and 6, therefore we shall write dots 2, 5, and 6 the mirror way. 2, 5, and 6 the mirror way. So that at the end of the day, our dot comes the correct way. When you check on the screen, you'll find the full stop. That is the end product we want to see. But when you are looking at it like that, you write the mirror way by writing, clicking dot Dot five dot two and dot three. When you turn the paper, it will end up being dot the, the, the full stop which you see there, which is made of dot two dot five and dot six. Before we embark on the exercise, since this is a new idea, can we first practice? Writing the full stop, the mirror way. We are seeing on the screen the full stop. The reading position for the full stop is dot two, dot five, and dot six. If we want to put it the mirror way, the writing position of the full stop will be clicking dot five, dot two, and dot three. So that when we return it in the reading position, it exactly reflects what is on the screen as our full stop. Let's write together five, two, three space. You write a line of a full stop. Number two, we introduce ourselves to writing words. The first word is add. When we want to write add, we write letter A by writing it in the opposite position. Then letter D also in the opposite position because we practice and we know. The difference between writing letters of the alphabet and writing words is that when you are writing words, you don't leave space till when all the letters in the word are written. So we write A, D, D. That is the word add. We leave space after completing the word. The next word is bad. B, A, D. Space. Then the next word is dad. So the first line is a line of words. Add, bad, dad. In the preliminary stages. Of practicing to write words the speed will be slow and please allow it to be slow but as you keep practicing speed will come by itself and when in future you get an opportunity to train learners with visual impairment you can practice you can assume you are blind by blindfolding yourself it helps you to appreciate that blind learners do things slowly so that you appreciate that fact. And therefore, when you are training them, you go slowly. With Let us first also learn how to read the first letters and simple sentences coming out of the first 10 letters of the alphabet A to J. Here you are on the screen. We have the exercise. This is called Sim Braille. That is Braille which is not tactile, but it can be read by a runner who is cited. So, in the same way, when you are reading Braille, which is in sim Braille, the speed starts when it is slow. It is advisable 
that you get a colleague with whom you are undertaking the course. The colleague follows as you read. When you make a mistake, the colleague tells you. And with the time, speed will come. I wish you very good practice. I request that you go to the next lesson when you have done this one perfectly. Thank you.